there are some differences on the reciprocal functions. Okay? Um, first of all, if you guys look at these, these are no longer bounded, are they? Right? They're no longer bounded. Um, but we, so what we did do is when we looked at the range, so we can call them unbounded. All right. Um, since they're unbounded, we can talk about uh, their range. And remember, they are exactly the reciprocal, Daniel, of the sine and cosine graphs. So if I was going to plug and graph the sine and cosine graphs, they basically contain everything except for where sine and cosine is, are, is not graphed. So they basically go from negative infinity all the way up to negative 1, negative infinity to negative 1, union, then they start again at 1, and then go to infinity. Because remember, the sine and cosine graphs, um, for the sine and cosine graphs, they are graphed in between negative 1 and 1, and these are their reciprocals. The domain is going to be a little bit more, uh, the domain gets to be a little bit more confusing. If you guys remember what we looked at, I'm just going to look at 1. Let's just look at what we did for sine in this class. If you remember, the asymptotes occur for cosecant wherever sine is equal to 0. So if we look at this, we when we did these graphs, we noticed that sine is equal to 0 at pi intervals apart. Do you guys agree with me? So when identifying the domain, it's going to be all real numbers such that x cannot equal 0 would be the first would be my first asymptote and then adding to 0 i would just have to add pi and i could add pi as many times as i'd like to so i'm going to use a a number n cuz i could add n negative times or positive times but that's going to give me all of my asymptotes so it's important that for for uh, cosecant for secant the range is exactly the same. But let's go and take a look at this graph a little bit differently. If I look at cosine, do you guys see how cosine starts being at 0 at a different value than sine? Look at where cosine, the purple graph, look at where it crosses 0. The first point it crosses 0 in the positive direction is um, it's actually going to be at uh, pi halves. So that's going to be actually your first interval, which I can highlight it for you so you can see. It's at pi halves. That's the first time that where it crosses. So for the secant, your domain is all real numbers such that x cannot equal pi halves plus pi n. And please just go ahead and write these down for you. The period. 2 pi divided by absolute value of b, frequency, absolute value divided by 2 pi. However, amplitude there is none. Because remember, amplitude is basically the half distance from the max to the min. This graph doesn't have a max or a min. There is no max or min. But I want you to really important that the amplitude and the period is exactly, um, I'm sorry, the period is exactly the same for the cosine. It still takes just as much, just as much time for it to complete one cycle. All right. You guys all get one, so you don't need to pass them off to other people.
All right. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna play a game. No, 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 we're not. No, we're not sleeping. Actually, during this game. Uh, Based on that bond, what I'd like to do is to raise a 